In this video, we're thrilled to present our latest creation, a sci-fi action movie poster inspired by the works of Christopher Nolan. Using Adobe Photoshop, we take you through the step-by-step -step process of transforming images provided by the talented for manipulation team into a stunning poster that captured the essence of Nolan's cinematic style. Our poster pays tribute to some of the most memorable movies including Inception, Interstellar and Tenet. And that's not all, we're also participating in a contest hosted by the Forum Manipulation team. We know it's a tough competition, but we're ready to take on the challenge. So sit back, relax and enjoy watching us work our magic with Photoshop. And if you enjoy watching the creation or you learn something from this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more mind-blowing content. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First, let's drag our characters and try to find a perfect position for them. And if you are asking what could be the story of this film, well, in the sci-fi action movie Upside Mission, a team of three agents, including a brilliant detective and two high-trained martial arts experts, are tasked with taking down an artificial intelligence that has taken control of everything in the city, posing a threat to its citizens. However, their mission takes an unexpected turn when they discover that the city is divided into two opposing dimensions, when physics, technology and time all behave in opposite ways. In order to complete their mission, the team must navigate this upside down city and uncover the relation between these two dimensions. So will they be able to overcome the challenge of this real world and save the city from this impending doom? Feel free to share in the comments if you are curious to learn about the rest of the story. I will create another artwork to show you how our upside mission concludes. Well guys, let's get back to the exciting process of creating our poster. As you can see, I've been slacking off until now and uh, I only managed to place our characters and come up with a basic background idea. Now before moving on to the thrilling task of uh, color matching the background and giving it a misty bluish vibe, let's add some noise to these buildings to make them match the rest of the scene. Finally, we can move on to the riveting task of fixing colors, highlights and shadows and I will paint some parts to merge everything together. Now let's color match our characters and for this I will use color balance or gradient map adjustment layer or using them both if I need to do this. And now it's time to apply base highlights by using levels and uh, for the rim light exposure will be used. There were no hard and fast ways regarding painting highlights, you just need to have an intensive understanding of every tool and choose what you're comfortable with based on the situation and the photos you're working with. You can add multiple adjustment layers with different values and different blend modes. This maybe can help you to have more details and make it easier for you than to paint it in just one adjustment or empty layer. 
Just one tip to add here, I'm combining two tools to paint these highlights, soft round brush and this match tool. I did the same things and the same techniques for the three characters and uh, to finish by adding exposure adjustment layer, same boring techniques and things, I uh, just paint the shadows like I did with the highlights. At this point, it's time to fix and paint the hair. This process took me so much time, so I will not showcase the entire process for the three models, but I will explain uh, how I did it with our first model. It's just simple here, add an empty layer, pick colors from the environment around the character, and uh, just paint. In my opinion, it's the perfect way to fix and paint highlights and hair. To finish this part, I add an overall glow coming from the back of the scene on the edges of our characters. And in the end, to merge everything and give it a cinematic look, I will paint some haze here and there, add some colors, trying different blend modes, and uh, I think we did a great job at this point, so let's jump into Illustrator and design our logo. Well, since it's a sci-fi action film, there is no rules or something special with these logos, it can be simple text or complex one, for this case I will use this font which given us dynamic and action feelings and uh, I will transform each letter to give us that mystery and the sci-fi vibe and of course to come up with something custom. I don't know if you like it or not, just let me know in the comments. Anyways, after a lot of tweaking, there you go, our logo is ready. Just one last step which is the bottom credit bar, I will write anything related to my name and this contest since it's not an official poster.
Now uh, let's bring everything to Photoshop again. I just add some effects from the layer style box to give the logo this metal effect and this gradient blue color. Unfortunately, something wrong in the recording setting happened in the second half of this video, and this is why effects and style boxes didn't appear. To finish this, I add a camera raw feature, and uh, there you have it. Our sci fi action pack in movie poster is complete. Now, we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments what you think of this design and if you have any feedbacks for us. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more digital art and design content. Your support means the world to me. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in our next video.